An incident response plan template is a checklist that allows you to prepare for and respond to possible cybersecurity attacks. Responding to these security incidents can feel overwhelming, so it's best to have documentation of the right steps to take. A good template can help you better detect security threats, take note of their impact on your system, and control whatever damage has been done. Let's look over some template examples. The following are a few companies that have exceptional templates. Number one, the NIST Incident Response Plan. The National Institute of Standards and Technology, or NIST, provides a great incident response plan. The template aligns with its cybersecurity framework, providing specific guidelines for navigating cybersecurity breaches. It offers guidance for preparing and detecting these attacks, as well as responding to and recovering from them. The main sections of the proactive NIST approach include 1. Organizing a computer security incident response capability 2. Handling an incident 3. Coordination and information sharing 4. Incident handling scenarios and 5. Incident related data elements Number 2. SANS Incident Response Cycle a leading organization in cybersecurity training, SANS Institute is next on the list. This incident handling process template provides a systematic approach when handling a cybersecurity breach. SANS operates by the acronym PICERL to guide employees through threats to their organization or even their personal data. Let's look at the acronym and see exactly what the SANS incident response cycle consists of. 1. Preparation establish an incident response team, create an incident response plan, and implement training and awareness. Two, identification, anomaly detection, event logging, and notifications. Three, containment, isolation and quarantine. Four, eradication, root cause analysis, patch and remediation. Five, recovery, system restoration and data recovery. 6. Lessons learned, post-incident review and documentation. Number 3. ISO slash IEC 27001 Incident Response Procedure. This procedure is ideal for those organizations who are just starting out. The plan is pretty straightforward to understand, which is personally what I appreciate about it. By adhering to the principles of this procedure, you are on your way to creating a strong framework one that will help you build your organization's security foundation. When managing incidents, ISO IEC 27001 suggests the following approach. One, create an incident management strategy. Two, establish incident management procedures. Three, identification and reporting of incidents. Four, response to incidents and containment. Five, reporting of incidents. Six, analysis and investigation of incidents. Number four, CIS Incident Response Template. According to the Center for Internet Security, or CIS, there's a difference between an event and an incident. An event is any occurrence that you can observe, verify, and document. An incident, on the other hand, is an event that has a negative effect on an organization and its security. Whether intentional or unintentional, these incidents impact a company's ability to accomplish its mission. The CIS Incident Response Template consists of the following. Plan. Develop documentation. This should include all procedures required for handling incidents. Detect. Monitor assets and analyze intelligence to find incidents. Respond. Activate your plan to respond to an observed incident. This step should emphasize the importance of rapid containment of the threat. Update. Take note of which parts of the plan were effective. Update your plan according to what worked and what didn't. Number five, Cloud Service Provider Incident Response Template. Cloud incident response plans deal with security threats in a cloud environment. Shocking, I know. These specific templates walk you through the procedures and tools within your infrastructure to recover and respond to cloud-based incidents. There are a few key differences between a cloud incident response system and a non-cloud incident response system. These aspects include the areas of governance, shared responsibility, and visibility. Cloud service incident response templates include the following steps. One, preparation. Two, detection and analysis. Three, containment. 4. Eradication 5. Recovery 
6. Postmortem. The cost of data breaches is rising globally for organizations in all sectors. Your template should include an organized approach that encompasses all stages of the security incident. The stages should include before, during, and after the breach. For those who have a lot on their plate already, consider these templates to build your own plan. If you'd like to learn more about incident response plan templates, reach out to eTactics. And you already made it this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below.